Look at it. Just leave it. I think it's lost. Maybe it knows exactly what it's doing and you're disturbing its plans. <laughs> Maybe it's plans that'll find new friends. You did it. Luke and Celia, just to make our lives fun, wrote a pig into episode one of season three, uh, which was, of course, a, uh, a panic-inducing thing for any production to have to deal with a, a live animal. Uh, when we were writing with Ned the pig, we didn't really think about what a pig could do or what a pig would be willing to do. Um, we just went off assuming that a pig can be in a car, a pig can stop on a dime, it's fine. And then we got to pre-production and they went, you know, pigs are notoriously hard to train and you need to get a TV pig, a special fancy magic TV pig that's gonna, pigs don't usually get in cars, that's not a normal thing. And we were like, oh no. Luckily, we found the what we believe to be certainly the best pig in Tasmania, perhaps the best pig in Australia, perhaps even the world. Uh, his name is Ned and he comes from Brightside Animal Sanctuary. He is only like, he's a baby. He's like 10 months old or something, but he's massive. And he's basically the Meryl Streep of pigs and he was so wonderful. And he was not trained, hadn't been to acting school, hadn't been to car driving school and he was so wonderful. And um, uh, we got through him, got to meet wonderful Emma and Eliza who run Brightside Animal Sanctuary. And Ned is a rescue pig. So he was actually a cruelty case. He was seized by the police. Um, his owners were keeping him in a crate the size of his body. So he was seized one night and dropped off to us at 10 o'clock at night. So I think that was the start of a new life for Ned. But yeah, Ned did amazing work. He would often do things we did not expect. <laughs> no, you can't, Ned. Oh, your is going to Which can be both a good thing and a bad thing. It's fine. It'll be fine. It's fine. We'll just start the next scene. No, it's next scene. We're sure. But his comic timing was often impeccable. Just write it into the script. Yeah. You've soiled yourself on the front. Anyway, so I've soiled myself on the front. What are we doing about this review? We'd largely make our scenes work around whatever Ned felt like doing on any given day. Yeah, okay. Good job, Ned. I'll pay you the 20 bucks later. That was perfect. <laughs> and uh, he uh, is one of our most talented cast members. I'm going to have to escort you to the butchers now. <laughs> <laughs>